Morning everyone. So I'm packed and ready to leave Split. And when I arrived yesterday, a massive thunderstorm opened up, so I was only able to see the city for a couple of hours. But even so, I liked it a lot more than Dubrovnik. So my recommendation is if you can only do one, then do Split. On to the day cycling then. Uh, I need to head northwards. So I've got a deadline to meet in Slovenia within, I think it's like five or six days time. And I understand the terrain reaching there is going to be quite difficult. So normally I have an end destination for each day in mind, but for this part of the trip I haven't. I know that I need to do about 80 kilometers a day. So once I get to that stage, I'll start looking for a campsite. And it's kind of in my interest to do a little bit more each day if I can. So this is probably going to be the tougher part of my journey. Uh, but at the same time, it's, uh, it could also be quite an exciting part because I might throw in some wild camping. I'll go to places I haven't really read about. So that's all part of the adventure. So I will stop talking now and give you some video from the road, assuming that my battery lasts in the GoPro again, of course. And I will talk to you in a bit. Cheers for now. Hi there, so I'm about 35 kilometers into the day cycle ride and just taking a break in a lay-by, which I shall show you because I've got a quite a nice view over to the sea. So there's my bike behind me there. This is gonna get all wobbly. And now because I turn you around, I won't even know if you can see the sea or not until I edit the video. So maybe you're just getting a view of a crash barrier. I have no idea. Or the clouds. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. So leaving split was quite easy. I went through an industrial area and then I've taken like a quieter coastal route uh, away from the main dual carriageway although I think I've now joined back up with route 8 so I've probably got about another 40 or 50 kilometers to go just depends on where I find a campsite uh, the weather's held off uh, there was rumors that it was going to rain today but so far no rain and that's about it really yeah everything's nice and easy so I'll continue cycling speak to you in a bit
Hi there, so I've made it to another campground for the night and as you can see the tent set up behind me and there's the bike. Bikes give me no problems at all on this trip, thank you very much Stanforth. In fact I've not even had a puncture, although why did I say that, because no doubt we'll have a series of them. Damn you stupid Briggs. So this campsite, I'm going to take you over here and then I'm going to turn around so you can see how close the sea is. Is right by the sea, how awesome is that? And if I angle that, can you see the colour of the water? Yeah. And this campsite, if I've interpreted the guy correctly, is just going to cost me 20 kuna, and that's less than three euros. So that would be my cheapest camping so far. But shh, don't tell anyone else. Anything else to say? Nah, not really. It was a pretty easy day, uh, 70 kilometers and flat-ish. I think it was a total ascent of about 600 meters. So what's that? What's that between friends? Tomorrow is going to be a lot tougher though. Uh, I need to really kick some kilometers out tomorrow and it's going to be all sorts of rocky terrain. So. I'll eat well tonight, sleep well, and then hit the road tomorrow. Speak to you then. Cheers.